Doing that forever. You can just keep doing that forever and ever. That's Ladies a good and look, gentlemen, that's a good look. you have witnessed Ooh. Danish Pete <laughs> oozing creative juice 
like <laughs> we've potentially never seen on this YouTube channel before. But creative that was, juice. That was beautiful. We like man. creative juice. And you saw down. from the start of that video, he just did the whole thing, all the parts, everything, one take on a looper pedal with that guitar. With the guitar into a boss amp with a uh, looper. So good. So with, look with this. Welcome and to this. Welcome to 2019. 2019. And uh, Fender's big uh, surprise launch surprise! for the year. Yeah. It's not a it's it's not an it's not a Telecaster and it's not an acoustic guitar. It's not. It it's is both. A, it's an acoustic acoustic sonic. It's a thank you. Acoustic sonic. <laughs> a thank you. Acoustic sonic. A thank you. These are cool, man. They are. cool. They're really really cool. Um, we before Christmas actually, uh, Ariel and me did a video of uh, first impressions with him without even trying to plug them in or anything yeah. before. Yeah. And he was very, very impressed well, we, as well. Yeah, so, so Fender, uh, Fender gave us a little heads up about these just before Christmas. Yeah. And they left some guitars with us. And they were kind of like, look, you just, Thank you. You just do, <laughs> do whatever you want to do with them. Yeah. Because they're kind of, it's a new thing or a relatively new thing. And we don't really know who it's going to appeal to. Is it going to appeal to acoustic guitar players, electric guitar players, hybrid players, guys who want to do looping, guys who want to sit on a sofa, whatever. Yeah. It's just new. Yeah. So why don't you have them and you find out? So we did some videos with Ariel and we've done some videos with Chappers. Yeah. We're doing some videos ourselves. Yeah. Trying to sort of go, what, what are we like? But yeah. So let me tell you that this is, this is what it is. And then you can, I guess, draw your own conclusions. It's called the Acoustasonic. It's made in America. It's a bolt-on neck uh, guitar in the style of a Telecaster, yep. obviously. Mm -hmm. Few differences, really, I guess. You've got this quite nice armrest here. You've got the, the sort of contoured heel like you'd get on a, you know, higher spec elite telly. Beautiful. Yep. Done the, this is, this All, has to happen on every guitar ever now, which is the recessed heel plate. Do you think? Really nice. I love it. I think it's a really nice detail. I, I um, like it, but... but this is not traditionally but let, roughly. All right, well, it's let's not get, traditionally but, but that's, of course, where the, the Telecaster kind of yeah. um, comparisons end. And we get into acoustic territory. So it's totally hollow. Spruce top. Spruce, spruce spring clean. Spruce spring clean um, top. Uh, and it's a mahogany body by the looks of things. Yeah. Totally lightweight. I mean, weighs w w way less than any uh, solid body electric guitar that you could buy. Yeah. I'll put the... Uh, specs in the description below. I think it's about three pounds or They're something. They're very, very ways, light, isn't it? Very light. Um, designed by... Here's the very, interesting, yeah, this is quite Very clever chap. Now, I, I know that some of you guys who are a bit more sort of guitar aficionados will be going, oh, it looks a bit like a Taylor T5. Yeah. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Um, what I do know is that the guy at Fender who designed this, yeah. very clever chap, was in a previous role at Taylor, yeah. and he designed the T5. Yeah. So, so he should know kind of what he's doing, yeah. and and but whereas T5 felt to me like it's an electric guitar with like a acoustic flavoring. Yeah. This now feels like an acoustic guitar with like an electric flavoring. Is yeah. That fair well, to yeah, say? yeah. 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 I think it's I think it's both really because it appeals to. To both people, as you heard, you're just playing like a ripping uh, solo. But and I think how that all comes in is the is the uh, Fishman system, which is a, a yeah a, like the blend matrix. What's it called? The the aura, uh, the aura system, which is built in here. We'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah. Um, well, let's let's I, so because it's not really that acoustic. Not. But I guess compared I to a Taylor T5, I think uh, it's pretty acoustic. It is. Pretty uh, I mean, certainly, if you if you go back to the, I guess not previous incarnation of this, but where Fender have had a previous sort of dalliance into the acoustic market, acoustic electric hybrid market, they've made a guitar called an Acoustacaster, which oh, again yes. yeah, yeah. was um, really, being completely honest, with you was just a a regular acoustic guitar shrunk down to be kind of more like the size of a Strat or yeah. a, or a Telecaster. Yeah. But you know the idea was you plugged it into an acoustic amp or a PA. And yeah. And this doesn't sound wildly different to that kind of thing. So you, you could sit on a sofa and, <laughs> and play free falling. You know. Yeah. You could jam away like that. You wouldn't. Yeah. You wouldn't record or you know. But you. 
you could you could jam away like that. There's more sound in it than there is an electric guitar. Way Let's more. Let's just put it like that. Yeah. So if you want the electric guitar feeling, because it absolutely, the neck is a modern C shape. It yeah. feels like an electric uh, modern Telecaster yeah. neck to play. They all come strung with bronze strings. 12s. But we, we put some electric guitar strings on the black one here. And again, in the video I did with Chappers on here, we, we kind of sort of rocked these out more as what if they were electric guitars rather yeah. than... But we're going to stick yeah. with the sort of the acoustic -y theme for this yeah. video. Because that's up to you kind of thing. So explain. Explain. So the system is... Yeah, so the electronics are quite uh, cleverly um, in the way that you've got a Piazza pickup under here. You've got a like Telecaster pickup here. And inside, as you heard in the beginning, when I was uh, hitting the guitar, you've got a, a contact pickup, a, a contact yeah. pickup mm. on the body for that slapperoonies that people like to yeah. slap it's it. the right? most expensive cajon in the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. So you've got uh, five positions like a normal... Five uh, positions in a one night stand. Five, five positions in a one night stand. That is too, too many, I would think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or maybe four too many, yeah. I, I don't know. And if we start at position five, because a lot of people are kind of... I never understood that, but Position we're going to go with it. one is always the one furthest away from you, yeah, right? Yeah, it makes no sense at all. Totally backwards, and, but we'll go with and that. And even, even on, the, um, even on the, the spec sheet, they say this is five, and that's where we yes. start. So you got uh, the aura system, um, which I first encountered in the Martin guitars when they started. It's, it's, I, we should say it's, it's uh, not... It's the aura it's technology, image? Yeah, so the pedals. but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not the aura system. No. It's like... The, it's like Fender's advanced version of yes, the Aura system. where they take like an image equal, yes. equalization and how that guitar would sound. Yes. If you if that's the it's it's when it comes. It's back like here. it's almost like impulse responses, but modeling kind of like yeah, so it's, it's like not, modeling. It's not digital modeling. But it is to be completely honest. We probably don't really understand how. Well, what, what, what what the Aura system did? Yeah. Was um, was record famous acoustic guitars with, with microphone. famous microphones yeah, yeah, yeah. and create an image some sort of EQ'd image of that so that mm -hmm. when you played a guitar with an aura system fitted to it the sound that came out the, the pickup would be an image of this captured famous guitar with yes. a famous yeah. microphone yeah. and really what Fender have done is kind of just taken that technology to an, you know the, the next level yeah. or the next kind of stage of its development yeah. and change the way the uh what traditionally would be your tone knob would work yeah and given you kind of that aura vibe within this guitar yeah in conjunction with fishman it, it is a it is a, a co-designed electronic system exactly with fish and how it works is you've got a volume and this one is not a tone control no. there is no tone control and that was when the ario had the guitar he was like oh i could do with a tone control mm -hmm. and i just pointed out that well you would probably just get your front of house guy or your monitor guy mm -hmm. in your in-ears or you do it on your amp boom yeah so so that's fine this is the it's like a and b so when you turn it to one side it's a and to the other side is b which then means that you can blend yeah. those two images. So you've images. got two different images, haven't you? And, exactly. and, and the option to have a sort of an infinite yeah. blend. So now I can't remember exactly what it is because there is five. So the first position, in position I'll five- what, I'll read it, yeah. you play it. So position <coughs> five. So position five in with tone control all the way up yeah. is a dreadnought guitar with a Sitka spruce top and a rosewood back and side. So I guess, you know, D28, right? Yeah. Um, and it basically describes it as deep bass meets strident trebles for a traditional acoustic voice. Great for big bold strumming. Oh, so I better do some big bold do strumming. Do some big then. bold strumming. Yeah. Okay, so so A is all the way down, so we turn it that way. Yeah. And B is all the way up, which might be a bit confusing. I don't think you're going to end up referring. You're just going to find your favourite sound. But let's, yeah, let's, I think so, so. let's yeah. hear it. Let's Position hear this five, first. All the way down. So big bold strumming. We, we should at this point explain, you are hearing the DI output from this Boss amplifier. Yeah, Boss Acoustic Sing Up with a, the, the, the reverb, etc. is in Coming the, from the amp. Yeah. So, so, position B, though, would give you an Alpine spruce top uh, with a rose back and side, but on an auditorium guitar. So, imagine like a, a, a one that's a little thinner across the waist, like a, a Taylor 814 kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, Anyway, and it describes it as 
tighter and brighter for a more modern pop sound and a detailed mid-range, perfect for strumming or finger style. Okay. And if I remember rightly, the contact mic isn't working on this position, no, is it? No, no, so no. this is just the piazza and, and just the, that, the preamp. Not this, yeah. just this. So position four yeah. does alternative acoustics. So in position A, uh, it is an Engelmann spruce top with a maple small body. So imagine a sort of an intimate parlor style uh, acoustic guitar. Best for delicate playing. Well, you can, you can hear that already. Next, we're going to go, so position B is a spruce top with a mahogany body dreadnought, so I guess like D18 kind of vibe. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Fair um, one too far. Position three. Hey, now so, here we go. Here comes yeah, the fun. So this is where the fun starts, because this is where the percussion and the enhanced harmonics will come in. So this will be a blend of the piazza and the contact pickup. <coughs> yeah, you can blend it in position on this one. A is, uh, oh, I see. So position A has no contact yeah. see, mic, here. right? Yeah. Position A position down. B. Position B. Come in. Hello. Uh, so it is designed around a Sitka spruce Brazilian rosewood dreadnought. So if you're traveling around the world, make sure you don't, don't leave your guitar that. in position three. <laughs> otherwise you might have your guitar confiscated by customs. Um, unless you have a passport. Unless for you have it. a passport for it, yeah. So passport, anyway, let's go. Sorry, let's have a listen to this with no contact mic. Okay. So You can hear the percussive nature. It's right on the edge, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'd want to. I think I'd want to find somewhere in, in between, the middle. I so think. let's try to blend it in. Mm. You can definitely hear all the way off and then you blend it in a bit. I must say, they're having the 12 electric stri uh, acoustic strings on here is a little more difficult to play. Yeah. Because you tend to want to play a like little bit electric. more electric guitar on it. Well, you could put 11s on there, couldn't you? I would go even. in the middle. Go 11s, I think. I might 10s or 11s, mm. uh, acoustic yeah. strings. Um, Depends on the style of player you are. If you're a big strummer, you just put the chunky strings. Yeah, it doesn't matter. if you're a anyway. small strummer as well. Yeah, if you're, if you're Joe strummer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> position two is a blend now. We're bringing in the uh, uh, the magnetic pickup. Okay. Uh, so imagine kind of like your John Lennon with his, like J140, yes, yes. where he had the pickup yes, in the sound hole, that kind yes. of, and the kind of vibe that he would get. So position A 
Uh, right, okay, so position A is doing similar to position uh, position three. Oh my God, you it's blend so confusing. <laughs> yeah, so, so what this knob does now is blend, blend in the pickup. In. So it's the basic uh, imagery of it is a Sitka spruce guitar, mahogany back and sides, dreadnought shape. So just sort of like normal. D18 again. Yeah. yeah. Blend that in. Oh, all the way. So it's both. It's both now, isn't it? Punchy in the mid range, isn't it? Once you dial Punchy that in, the in mid -range. Which, which I'm guessing for for. Uh, playing in a band or something like that where you've got lots of other instruments going on I suspect that would be a helpful it setting. Would, it would definitely it would definitely come through um, uh, in the mix but yeah imagine any acoustic guitar player that you've seen where they where they're known for having the pickup in the sound hole yeah there's a lot of people that, that do that actually yeah uh, so finally and here's the clever bit that we're enjoying position one is full electric guitar mode so this so, is now just that pickup yeah and the cleverness is the AB control uh, winds up kind of a bit of a driven into Bobby. a little Fender sort of deluxe kind of. So it's so now you can you can without having to switch amp or anything. stomp on any pedals or anything. Yeah. You can have your kind of Telecaster plugged into your Fender amplifier kind of sound. Yeah. So just go straight. To, that's that it. acoustic. Yeah. And then this is the cool bit. If you wind this bit up, it gives you a little bit of a bit of hairy dirt. Not crazy amounts, but just like a little. Just for effect, just show how cool this is. Could you just loop like a two or three chord riff with an acoustic yeah. thing, and then without having to touch anything, you can just go straight to a, like an electric guitar sound, a little noodle over the top or okay, something. Okay, so let, let me just uh, clear this and then we'll be back. So here we go. It's so just, good. It's, just, it's fun, isn't it? It's really cool. Yeah. So, um, my loop is not much battery. else to really tell you about this. We'll do some. We'll, we'll run through the colours and the close-ups. I suppose we should tell you that the. Um, in fact, here's a good example of. It's a the Fishman system inside is uh, runs off a lithium rechargeable battery. Yeah. So USB. like a lot of devices nowadays, you've got a little tiny USB socket here. It serves no purpose other than to recharge it, and it's quite handy actually because my little red warning light here is flashing to tell me that I'm down to like the last hour or so of playing time so I should really go and charge so this up really and play for an hour. Yeah. It got hundreds of hours worth I of charge yeah, yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. So 600, 600, I don't know. It's it was hundreds, hours. wasn't it? Yeah. So let's just have a little look. If I unplug this and show you in what detail What a different colour sound like. <laughs> yeah, no, but so where the where the, the sort of the binding goes around, that's the marker between where they've inlaid the spruce top 
to the rest of the body. Yeah. So it's beautifully done. You know, really, really, really beautifully done. Um, I particularly love, if we can see a close up here, I particularly love how in the sound hole, the body goes down about an inch. You know, the, the fold of the, the top goes down about an inch into the sound hole. I think that looks really smart. It's like a waterfall effect. I it think is they like call a waterfall. It. You have it in your massive house. You, you have your double stairs coming up in the middle of your house. You just have this waterfall going in. Yeah, you've got this fabulous, heavily grained ebony fretboard. So this. as you can see, every single guitar is going to have its own unique kind of character. I love that. Um, I think that's ace. Whether you go with... Uh, what, what, I don't even know what colour you describe that as. It's like a grey kind of it says, colour. It says on there, all the colours oh, are it says on there. All here. Yeah, it's like That's a greeny. Great. Yeah. Uh, this is natural, sunburst. Um, here we go, we've got the yeah. colours. So, Pete is holding up the natural uh, Acoustasonic, um, which looks great. I have a transonic grey. If you listen to it, you can definitely hear the transonic part of it. Um, the trans spirit, Siberian. Trans Pete is line. holding up trans surf green. I like this. Uh, trans, I suppose, for transparent. Uh, oh, is that what it is? Is that what it means? Well, I don't know. I'll just I hope check. So. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Uh, it's definitely see through. Uh, see through. Um, sunburst, and then of course black. Good old black. Now they're all matte finishes as well, so they're gonna kind of sort of begin to, to look like they've been played. Yeah. Uh, the longer you have them, you'll get that kind of funky, shiny sort of vibe going on there, the more your and arm the, rubs it. Sorry to interrupt, the ebony, take the bridge on here, how Beautiful. that's the similar, this is all dark, and these are yeah. all uh, different yeah. colors as well. They come with a really nice bag, uh, which we will uh, which insert I will go and a close-up of. Are you going to go and get yeah, it? Yeah, fair get, enough. We'll get, we'll get one, we'll get fair one. Fair enough. There we go. That's a beautiful bag. It's a beautiful bag, uh, it opens. Oh, to it's put he guitar. super heavily padded. Good inch yeah, worth yeah. of really heavy foam padding there. Can we see inside? Pockets. See inside. Oh, little, little things to cradle the neck. Cradle oh, the look. neck. And pull things out because they've all oh, got like rubber reinforced feet. Oh, loads of... Oh, you a nice little wash gonna, bag oh, with it. Actually, this is one thing I was thinking because I, I tried to charge them earlier. This looks like a really nice long... Uh, and USB cable, so you can, yeah. so you can, so you don't have to put it next to the charger. You get your little certificate there. You get a little pouch. Yeah. If we didn't say it earlier, nothing in. Uh, presumably, that's what you keep your USB cable and your toothbrush in and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, if we didn't say it earlier, these acoustic sonics, nearly called them acoustic castings. The acoustic sonic range is made in Corona, California, same as all the current other American guitars. Whether or not this, you know, filters into their Mexican or Far Eastern ranges uh, in years to come, who knows? But right now, it is just uh, a full-blown American thing. I think it's wonderful. I kind of think it's it's it's, it's one fun. of those guitars where, you know, if you have a chronic gear acquisition syndrome condition, <laughs> and you're just going, but I've got every guitar that there is, you haven't got one of these. I'm just saying, it is the perfect cure for an incredibly bad case of gas. Um, so that's a bad word. I'm yeah, I know. Gas. But it's cool, man. So there you go. That's the Fender Acoustasonic series. Please stay tuned. We will release over the next few weeks uh, the video of uh, Pete and Ariel checking them out, yeah. and of Rob and I checking them out. Particularly the Rob one. We'll go into the the black one here. You can see we've strung with. <laughs> regular electric guitar strings so you can see what Rob thought of that through a, a more traditional electric guitar rig with pedals and stuff like that. Hey. 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 Uh, hey. Probably by now, I think you'll be watching this on like the 22nd or 23rd of January or something like that. So Pete and I'll oh. be in LA then with the rest of the Andersons video team. Uh, so if you uh, haven't seen, you know, any of our NAM coverage before, subscribe. There'll be about 20 videos a day going up. It's insane, <laughs> bringing yeah. you the best coverage of anywhere in the world of the NAMM show, the biggest, most amazing musical instrument extravaganza in the world. In the world. It's gonna be nuts. Anyway, I've been the captain. I've been Dave Pete. We'll see you later.
I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I